Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a dynamic topper chart in Microsoft Excel. So as you are seeing my screen, I have created this topper chart. We have here student name and the marks of the student. As of now, we have used the rand between formula to show the marks, but here you can put your actual marks. You can use this chart to show the top performer of your team can be used for the sales team or some other type of teams also in this chart we are showing all the students here and for one which is the topper we are putting in the green color and we are showing this trophy here and the score also which is 99 percent if i will recalculate this sheet then because we have used the rand between formula so the topper will be changed next time here you can see so it's dynamically working now i'll show you how you can create this in microsoft excel so let's copy this table press ctrl n to open the new workbook and paste this data here this is simple red between formula let's put your numbers here for now i'm just keeping it as it is go to the view and remove the grid lines from here we will take two support columns first we will take the max value Another one we will take here data level. In the max value we will use the formula if b2 which is the marks equal to maximum of this one press f4 to freeze this then it will return the actual marks which is b2 in else case it will return the any function so it will return the has any. Let's fill this down. And here you can see it is returning the 78% that means it is maximum in this range. Select this range and go to the home and here let's go to the percentage. Remove the decimal. Okay. In the data label we will show here the trophy sign wherever it is the max value. To create that trophy symbol we will take the help of windows emojis i have already created a video on the windows emojis so hit the window and dot sign or window or period sign in your keyboard this small pop-up will be appeared here now let's go to the emojis this is one i have used recently but you can get it just typing here trophy okay so just click on this trophy and then close this it will be available on your selected cell now let's copy this from here and we will use a function if use here is error let's select this max value and just close the bracket if this is an error then it will return blank in else case it will return that trophy just close the bracket and hit the enter just fill this down it is returning two trophies because we have two toppers which is a type basically in these two so it will return two in that case all right now let's select this range till here go to the insert then go to the charts 2d chart we can take this chart cluster column chart let's create this make it slightly bigger let's keep this here Go to the chart elements, remove the legend from here, grid lines from here. Right click on the chart, go to the format data series. Series overlap we will take 100% and cap width let's take around 50 or 60%. Alright, our chart will look like this. Select this blue chart which is the for the regular one, go to the format, let's take here light blue color this one. And for this orange one which is for topper go to the save field let's take this light green color now let's add the data label select this blue one and click on add data label so here you can see data labels are added right click go to the format data label scroll it down let's take here inside end go to the format and fill and let's fill here white color this one font color let's take black this one go to the home font name let's take here area rounded empty bold this one make it slightly smaller go to the format data label and go to the fill and here we will fill the already fill the white color so make slightly transparent 40 percent or 50 percent 
all right so our chart will look like this now we can delete this vertical axis also select this vertical axis press delete button so that is deleted now select this horizontal axis make it bold and we will change the font we will take here arial rounded empty bold just change the chart title also you can put whatever chart title you want to put so i am putting here marks by student take here arial rounded empty bold color as black slightly small all right now we will add the trophy here on the topper now we will right click on this green one and click on add data label so here you can see we can see one more 94 percent right click on this go to the format data label we will go to the value from cells in the format data labels just check this now small pop-up will appear here for the data label range Let's select the data label range for D to this range. We have created the data label formula here, wherein this trophy is appearing. Click on OK. Now, in the format data label, uncheck the value and show letter lines and close this. So, we can see one small trophy icon here. Go to the home and change the size, font size, take around 60 or 20. Okay. Now this chart is ready. If I will go to the formula and I will click on calculate now, then here you can see the topper is getting changed. So it's a dynamic now. You can select this range, go to the home and here you can take the white font. So it will not be visible. You can keep your chart here. If you want to change the outline of the chart, you can change it. Go to the format chart and take the shape outline, this one and you can take the shadow also let's take this first one all right friends so friends that is how you can create this beautiful chart using this technique i hope you have enjoyed this video friends if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching